Ah, good day to thee. Now I'm a musketeer in the army of uh, mm. Oliver Cromwell, the new model army as it was called from 1645 onwards, and I was fighting in the civil war in our country 1642 to 1651. Now as a musketeer I provide the firepower for the infantry and to do this I need obviously a gun. You may have heard of the flintlock musket. The flintlock musket is only starting to come in in the 17th century. What this musket is, is a matchlock musket. So to fire a matchlock musket, obviously you need a piece of uh, burning match. This is a piece of rope that has been soaked in saltpetre, so that it burns very slowly like a candle wick. And obviously you need gunpowder as well. So obviously you've got your gunpowder in a flask at the side, that's the priming gunpowder. You've also got gunpowder in each of these boxes or battle bottles, which are on my bandolier. And to actually fire the musket, you first of all need to open the pan. You prime the pan by putting some gunpowder into there. It's just a shallow trough there with a hole that goes through into the barrel. You close the pan, you cast about, and then you put some more gunpowder from one of your bottles into the barrel. There's enough gunpowder in that bottle to fire one musket ball. You then need to put some wadding into the barrel to make sure that everything is lodged in tightly. That will make the musket ball come out uh, more accurately, hopefully. The musket ball then goes in on top of all that last. That's the thing that gets fired at the enemy and does all the, the damage. You then need to ram all that down with your scouring stick, as it was called in our period. Later on, called a ram rod. But you need to make sure that all that is compacted down to the bottom of the barrel. You then take your still burning match, you fasten it onto your serpent, which is this S-shaped uh, arrangement here, which uh, the trigger will pull down onto the pan, hopefully set off the musket. Now the officer in charge of the muskets will order you to present your piece, open the pan to expose the gunpowder, pull the trigger and the match will come down and set off the gunpowder in the pan. Give fire! BAN! And your musket ball shoots out towards your unfortunate enemy. So obviously the matchlock musket takes a long time to, to load and reload. Usually you can get two shots off in a minute if you're really proficient and have had a lot of training but in action probably one shot a minute is more realistic because a lot of gunpowder would gather as residue around the pan and it would take a lot of reloading. So obviously whilst we are reloading we need to be protected from the cavalry who might charge us. So to protect us from the cavalry we need the pike men who have their long pikes that keep the, the cavalry away be a block of pikemen in the middle of the formation and there'd be wings of musketeers on each side of the, the pike and that was the basic infantry formation. So that is how we are going to fight in the English Civil War for Oliver Cromwell and we shall have victory. Have a care! Shoulder your musket! Port your musket. Cock your match. Try your match. Present your piece. Check your scouring stick. Prepare to give fire. Give fire! <laughs> Cover to shoulder. Order your musket. Assume a lazy posture. 